the objective of this video is to find the area of a regular hexagon okay so let me draw a hexagon say this is my hexagon okay and uh, let's say that the length as it's regular so let us say this is say five centimeters okay so each side is of five centimeters so the question is how would you find the area of this hexagon <coughs> okay so before finding the area let's see what's the measure of each interior angle so to explain that uh, let me draw a line okay so this is an exterior angle okay so yeah say let us say this is say x okay so this is x uh, this would be 180 minus x okay so let me write 5 somewhere else so this is a 5 centimeters so if you watched uh, one of my other videos uh, I have proved that the sum of exterior angles of any polygon is uh, always 360 so let me write that okay sum this is a very important rule sum or addition of exterior angles exterior angles of any polygon of any polygon that means of any number of sides any polygon is always 360 this is a very important rule if you take any polygon a hexagon a pentagon or a octagon if you add the exterior angles it will always be 360 so if this is x and say let us this is y you have got how many exterior angles so i'll draw one more exterior angle so this is one exterior angle this is the other exterior angle okay so if this is y you can understand this will also be y this is again x so what can we say about x plus y we can say x plus y is 360 and you got how many exterior angles so based on this rule can i say the sum of exterior angles is 360 so can i say 6y is equal to oh sorry i made a mistake x plus y should be what is x plus y the sum of the angles on a straight line so angle on a straight line adds to 180 okay so yeah uh, this is always good to check so you got six exterior angles and you add them they will always be equal to 360 so i can say y is equal to when you divide both sides by six that is 60 degree so i can say this is 60 degree so how much would this be okay x plus y is 180 so this has to be 120 okay is that clear so each of the exterior angle is is uh, each of this exterior angle is 90, 60, sorry, and the interior angle is 120. So now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to split this. I want to say this is, let me say this is the best judgment. Suppose this is the, you can say the center of the, not the center, but a point which is equidistant from all the vertices. Okay. So, and if I draw a, a triangle here yeah? so let me draw a triangle here yeah? so this is what i want to draw so can you understand that this hexagon can be split into uh how many so let me draw that so let me show you so this is one triangle this is the other triangle okay it's very difficult to draw so i hope you understand the idea okay so this is the third this is the fourth this is the fifth and the sixth. So you've got six equal triangles. Okay, so we want to see what type of triangle is this. Okay, so can you understand the angles at a circle, angles at a point adds to 360. So we can say each of this angle 
are equal. I'm going very slowly so that you understand each of this angle are. So let us name, say that all the angles, say this is say Z, this will also be Z, this will also be Z. So can I say 6Z is equal to 360? So how much is Z? So Z I can say is 60 degree. So each of this angle, so let me remove the Z now. So each of this angle is how many degrees? Is 60 degrees. So this is 60 degree. And this, these two angles, the, this, this angle plus this angle is 120 degree. They are, they are, okay, now I'll explain that in a different way, okay. Now, how can I do this? I want to find this angle and this angle, okay. So we know that these two sides, these two sides are equal. These two sides are equal. So we can say that, uh, well, if this is A, this has also to be A because they are the base angle. Now we can say they seem to be isosceles triangle. Okay, so because the, the, this, the distance from year to year is equal to the distance from year to year. Okay, so I can say that A plus A plus 60 is equal to 180. Does it make sense? The three angles of a triangle adds to 180. So 2A is equal to 120. So A is equal to 60. So basically, this has become, so if A is 60, this has become an equilateral triangle. Okay, so this is 60, this is 60, and this is 60. So now we are interested to find the area of one triangle and find the area of one triangle. And if I multiply that with 6 or by 6, I get the area of the hexagon. That's my idea. That's what is going to happen now. So we want to find the area of this triangle, equilateral triangle. So we already know, let me change color. We already know this is 5 centimeters. So as all the angles are equal, as all the angles are equal, the sides are also equal. Does that make sense? So if this is phi, I can say this is also phi, and this is also phi. So let me draw an equilateral triangle just to clear the mess. So this seems to be an equilateral triangle. So let us, so this is an equilateral triangle, okay? So this, imagine this triangle I have taken out. So this is the triangle. So we are talking about this triangle where all the sides are five cent. So this is five centimeters. This is five centimeters. And this is also five centimeters. And all the angles are equal. Equiangular triangle are equilateral triangle. Okay, if all the sides are equal, all the angles have to be equal. Okay, so I want to find the area of this triangle. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drop a perpendicular from year to year. So we have got this is a right angle, okay, and this and this are equal. So you can see if this is phi, this is uh, this would be 2.5, and this would be. Oh, you don't need that. Okay, you don't need that. Okay, so here yeah, we know this angle, this angle is 60. This is 90, so this has to be 30. Okay, so you also don't need that. Okay, so we only know this information. Okay, this is of course 30. So I want to find, the, to find the area of a triangle, I need the base, which is already, this is the base, which is 5 centimeters. I want to find the height. So this is my H, which is the height. So I'm going to use so Katoa. So here, this is for this angle, this is the opposite and this is the hypotenuse. So I'll draw the so triangle. So this is my so triangle. So. Okay. So so is opposite. Is the sign is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite. 
in this case the opposite that we have is O is S times H okay now O is opposite so O in this case is H and S stands for the sine of the angle S stands for sine sine is 60 times hypotenuse which is 5 okay so the hypotenuse now sine 60 uh, without the calculator you can watch my other videos where where I have explained why sine 60 is root 3 over 2 times 5 okay so h is 5 root 3 over 2 now just to explain how I know uh, or just to check whether uh, this answer sine 60 is root 3 over 2 I'll show this on a calculator okay so let me move this this is my cal graphic calculator so I'll go to run and then I'll change my setting to degrees because my calculator works in on radians by default so this is my degree and then I'll show you sine 60 on the calculator is this crazy number which is nothing but root 3 divided by 2 this and this are the same okay just two but uh, this is more exact than this this is called the third form okay I'm not going to much detail so yeah so the area of the triangle so I can say area of triangle is 0.5 or half times base times height which is uh, you can say this is half times your base is phi times phi root 3 over 2. So this is 25 root 3 over 4. Okay. So this is phi over 1, this is phi over 1. So I multiply the numerators, which is phi times phi is 25 root 3 over 2 times 2 is 4. So area of one triangle is 25 root 3 over 4. Okay, therefore area of the hexagon, area of hexagon, hexagon, you've got six triangles of this type, so you go six times, six over one times, 25 root 3 over 4. Okay, so you can simplify what goes, you can simplify 6 and 4, so uh, 2 goes in 6, 3 times, and 2 goes in 2, 2 times. So, this is simplified to 25 times 3 is 75 root 3 over 2. So, if you want to write this, uh, this is as a decimal, this is uh, 75 times root 3 equal equal and then divide by 2 am I doing something wrong yeah <laughs> mm, just to confirm I think I'm doing something wrong I'm not sure so let me check root 3 over 2 yeah hypotenuse is pi yeah there's nothing wrong here yeah. so an area of a triangle is base times base is phi 25 root 3 over 4 that's right and you've got six triangles so multiplying by six so two times three is six and two times two is four 25 times three is 75 okay i think i'm right so this is uh, divided by two is 64.95 into uh, 95 centimeters squared okay that is 64.95 so this is 64 Point nine five centimeter squared in two DP. See you in the next video.